Merry Christmas! My name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas. And our Christmas theme this year for our church is Peace Has Come. You know, here at the end of 2020, it just felt like we all could use a little more peace, right? And so we're reading our Christmas devotional that we gave away in church. Uh, there's a little reading in here from December 1st all the way to December 25th. But I realized not everybody got one, and so I just figured it's just as easy to read it for you, record it, sit in front of the Christmas tree, throw it up on YouTube, and then we can kind of all feel like we're here together. Today's reading is entitled, Why a Christmas Tree? And there's a passage here from Colossians 1, verse 27. To them, God chose to make known how great among the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Have you ever wondered why every Christmas we think it's perfectly acceptable to chop down a living tree and plant it squarely in the center of our house? Where do Christmas trees come from? Well, Yule was celebrated in Norway from the beginning of the winter solstice all the way until January 12th. Living in such a cold and snowy climate, it was common practice to decorate the inside of your home with evergreens to remind yourself that winter was temporary and that the world would be green once again. Germany is credited with starting the Christmas tree tradition as we know it, and it started around the 16th century when devout Christians brought decorated trees into their homes. In fact, it is a widely held belief that Martin Luther, the 16th century Protestant reformer, first added lit candles to a tree to mimic stars in the night sky. But it wasn't until 1846 when Queen Victoria and her German Prince Albert were drawn in an illustrated London newspaper standing with their children around a Christmas tree that it finally became fashionable and acceptable in America. The first Christmas trees were symbols of hope, and they stood against the cold darkness of winter outside, and they looked forward to a brighter and warmer tomorrow. Today, Jesus is the hope of glory. Christmas challenges us to live in the present, while at the same time looking forward with hope to the future when Christ will return again. Christmas says that one day hope will return and repair the separation between God and humanity and put everything back together again. Thanks for watching us today and be sure to tune in tomorrow for our December 14th reading. Hey, and one more thing before you go, I want to take a moment to remind you about our Christmas Eve services. We actually have two opportunities for worship on December 24th. We'll have a service at 5 p.m. and a service at 7 p.m., both of which are completely identical. Pick the service that works the best for you and your family. Our church has really enjoyed serving you and worshiping alongside of you this year. We would love to be the church where you live. If you'd like to learn more about us, you can find us at waldenchurch.com. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.